Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Dino's Tech World. Today I'm going to show you how to make quick and easy forms for worksheets in Excel. So there's a couple things we have to do to set up here first. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Home tab here and we're going to right click and we're going to select Customize Ribbon and we want to make sure we have the home tab selected here in the right column over here and we're going to create a new group and then we're going to rename that new group and we're going to call it forms now we want to make sure that that forms is selected in the right column and then we're going to go over to this left column and where it says popular commands we're going to select all commands we're going to scroll down to where it says forms or form and we're going to add and so we've added form to that and we're going to click OK and you'll see right now we have an icon that has uh, form on it and so uh, this is actually the, the uh, icon that will make the form but we need to do something before we make the form and that's we need to format our data as a table and that icons already here under home right here to make things easier what we can do is we can right click on this format as table and click add quick access toolbar which is up here and so there's the uh, format as table we're going to do the same thing to the form right here and go add and so they're both up here so we can either use them from here if we don't do this frequently or if you do it more frequently you may want to add them up here so to start off with we need to select one of the cells in the table and we're going to go here to format as table we have a bunch of different choices here uh, for the format you can use any one you want uh, basically what this does is it not only formats the table but it tells it that it's a, a database table basically so i'm going to just pick the first one here you can see over here it outlines what it thinks is the table and it happens to be correct. If it's not correct you can go into this box here and adjust it. Uh, once you have the correct table there you click my, my table has headers and you click OK. So now you see that it's, uh, it's found the headers up at the top. It's created a, a database. We're going to just select the first record on here. Uh, you just need to click anywhere in this table to do this. Now we're going to go back to home, the home tab, and we're going to click form, and you see it brings up a form. The other way we can do it, we can close this out, we can go up here if you've decided to put these quick access icons up here, you can hit the form up here and do it as well. So now we have a uh, data form for our, our worksheet, and uh, what we can do is we can um, create a new record and by hitting new and it gives us a new blank record uh, we can enter the names or the uh, data right into it and if we hit tab it will move to the next field And uh, so then if we hit enter, it will actually enter the actual uh, record. And you can see right here, it's at the bottom of our list now, a new record. The other thing we can do is um, we can go uh, previous and next. Since we're at the bottom of the uh, table, we have to actually go previous first. But we can scroll through the records this way. Now, if I, I pick a record here and I decide to change something on it and then I decide I don't want to change or I make a mistake we can hit restore and that is like an undo and it will return it the record back but you have to do that before you hit enter if you hit enter it will enter the record and then you can't restore it after that you'd have to go back and re-edit it manually the next thing we can do is uh, Let's go find next. Let's go over to the bottom one. This is the record we entered. We can delete this record by hitting delete and it will check with us. And we can click OK and delete it. And now the final thing that we can do with 
this form is we can search for records by criteria. So to do that, it's best to close out the form and select like the first cell in the database so that you make sure you're searching the entire thing. And then we can just we can just go back up here and we can open our form again and we can go to criteria. And so if we uh, want to search for the name Sarah, we can then hit next and we'll find the next record with Sarah. Uh, if we go close out again and go back in, make sure we're up at the top record, we can go criteria again and we can do a wild card. And so if we put JAC and then uh, asterisk, it will find anything that starts with JAC. And so if we go to next, we find the first record is Jack Frost. If we go next again, we find Jackie Mason. So that's how you can use criteria to search for specific records within the database. And once you get to that record, you can edit it if you want. You can delete it. Uh, so those are the functions of the uh, quick form in Microsoft Excel. I'm Dean, and this has been Dino's Tech World, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.